now let us discuss here about the steps to convert first order predicate logic that is fol into conjunctive normal form that is cnf so this is the first part in the resolution in the upcoming three videos we will solve three different problems on resolution first let's see about how to convert the predicate logic statements into the conjunctive normal form totally we need to follow five steps step 1 eliminate implications and by conditionals so if your statement is in the form a implies b then it is replaced by negation a or b so this is nothing but is equal to symbol next if the statement is in the form a by conditional b then it is replaced by a conditional b and b conditional a conditional is nothing but implication so again this implication is replaced by this formula a implies b means negation a or b b implies c a means negation b or a second step move the negation inwards so that means we are going to apply the d morgan's laws so first step first formula negation of for all x p of x means here we have to move the negation towards the inside so negation of for all x negation of for all x means there existential x and negation p of x so this is the result next negation of their existential x p of x means move negation towards the inside negation of their existential x means for all x next negation p of x next one negation of p or q means we need to apply negation on p r and q so negation p negation of r means and negation q next negation of p and q is equal to negation p negation of and means r negation q next to negation of negation p means this is called as double negation law so we will get p as the output next third step standardize the variables standardization means we have to rename the variables let we have three statements like this for all x p of x there existential x q of x for all x r of x then uh, we have to rename the variables so the first statement can be renamed as so this is nothing but first statement only so use that p of x only p of x next let us rename the next statement as so what is the first one for all x p of x only so second one let us rename it as some other variable so let we have y so there existential y q of y next let us rename the statement as for all z r of z so don't take a single variable in all the statements so we have to rename the variable in each and every statement so first statement contains x x variable second statement contains y third statement contains z next step 4 scolarization scolarization means rename the remove the existential quantifier and replace by scolum constant so here step 4 is scolarization scolarization means we have to remove the existential quantifier and replace by scolum constant so let we have a statement like this their existential y p of y so now what we have to do apply the scolarization so remove the existential quantifier so remove this statement replace this variable by scolum constant so let us replace by p of c so here this c is nothing but scolum constant so we can call this as scolarization scolarization means we need to remove only existential quantifier and replace that variable by scolum constant or that can also be called as scolum function it may be any variable a or b or c d it is our choice next step 4 drop universal quantifiers 
so we have to remove the universal quantifiers let we have a statement like this for all x bar of x so this is universal quantifier so remove this quantifier so what is the statement now bar of x will become the statement so in this way we can convert the predicate logic statements predicate logic can also be called as first order logic statements into the conjunctive double form please like the video subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends thanks for watching